I want to show you the remove background option that came uh, in CC at the end of 2019 and uh, it's a great way for us to actually uh, simply uh, remove all this background without any real work obviously we've got to go in and refine kind of edges to do with the fur and so on but I just want to actually show you how I would uh, fix this if I was doing an album design or whatever it is for portraiture rather than for commercial photography and things really so uh, let's uh, just um, close this down for a minute and we'll just go and open it again so just coming down into bridge and we'll just go and grab the image that we just saw I'll go and show you that it works on all the other images as well um, so in fact I took this photograph just to show the setup uh, rather than anything else um, if we look across onto the uh, tools palette here you can see already I've kind of made a selection of some colors but let's uh, go back to the a basic let's uh, hit D for default that resets black to be on top and white to be below and I want to go in and actually just select uh, the two different pinks that we're seeing within the image so first of all I'm going to select the background color and I'm just going to go uh, behind her and choose the lighter of the pink going to press OK and then I'm going to go and select the foreground uh, color by clicking onto it and then just go and select the darker part of the pink now what am I doing that? I want to actually create a full new cam a canvas background in a gradient. So I'm just going to click on the plus, which is the new layer. Then I'm going to select on the gradient background. Now you can see already at the top here, it's basically set my look and the feel uh, as far as the colors are concerned. Perhaps I want a darker pink, so I just go in and choose a darker pink. And that will actually change it up here at the top, as you can see again. Um, I've set the radial because obviously I'm using a, a, a flash that is pretty much light in the middle of the, cam, uh, the canvas in a natural way um, but in fact it's going to radiate out in other words it's going to vignette itself and that's why I've chosen the uh, radial but obviously you can try uh, any of the different kind of uh, uh, gradient layer techniques depends on what you want to do so for me I'm just going to go and fill it so I'm going to start from the middle and then actually work out and as you can see there, what it did is actually put the dark in the middle and went out to the outside of the light. Well, I want that in the other way around, yeah? So uh, let's uh, do it in reverse. So let's uh, reset that again. We'll just swap those around. So now we have the darker as the outer edge. And then we can actually just decide on how bright a vignette we want to actually uh, achieve. So you can see how it just added more and more brightness within to the image itself. So let's go quite a long way with it. And that's pretty cool. Right. So with that in mind, all I've got to do now is to put this background behind or below the actual background layer. Uh, to do that, we'll just double click on the background layer and we'll just press OK. And that releases the little lock tool. So if you just drag the properties panel in just for you to see a minute, um, without making any selection on the image and with my photograph selected rather than the layer one, which is the uh, gradient color, I've got here on the properties panel, I've got remove background and that is smart. <laughs> it literally is going to do that for us. Uh, pretty pretty damn great and things really and because we're kind of using similar colors within the background uh, we haven't got the kind of problem that we might have uh, as far as the kind of different color tones if I was sticking her on white it, you'd obviously see a little bit more of the fringing around her and so on but we could get away with that you know pretty quick so let's do that in real time so let's get another image and see how it works again we'll just go and pick up um, the one just to the left of it let's do exactly the same same thing so we're going to pick up a new layer we're going to just push out to actually create the bright vignette that we need as far as the gradients concerned we want to unlock the background layer drag layer one below select on the actual photograph and just hit the remove background so depending on the kind of uh, work that you need to do you can see already how you can really begin to actually work very very fast in Photoshop obviously depends on the uh, you know how critical it needs to be and there's often some tasks that we can spend too much time uh, working on and realistically they're going to be so small whether it's for the web or whatever and you really don't need to actually go in and do all the heavy work as far as the refining things like the hair and the fur that you might think so obviously it's to do with the output 
and its end goal of how much work you're going to do with the image. But remember, we could go in here and just actually refine that, mask a little bit more around the hair and so on to actually finish it off. But that is the Remove Background tool in Photoshop.